what Dread. how has this this has this left a nasty taste in my mouth about Beagle? What's um so I could definitely say, you know, I was warned when I first got on this app that this app would literally try to ruin your life and try to just that in the third. So when it happened, I was I'm more I was more so surprised that like it happened to me because I do stay out the mess. I don't really be involved with you faggies simply because of that reason, because I want to play my cards right. And I don't want to be in the mess because being in the mess will result in literally nothing but y'all being in my business. But even that just goes to prove you could literally be not in the mess and you still going to end up in some stupid shit. And the fact that y'all went out to text my father and ruin my personal life is weird as fuck, but it was... I'm not I'm not gagging gagging for real, for real because they did tell me that, you know, this app for the widows for real, for real. So um I did say on the uh when they posted me, I did say I'm gonna still host, I'm gonna still be here, I'm not running away. Like uh y'all expected. But um yeah. That's it. Oh. Could it be a possibly a, a ex of yours? Someone who knows your business, a old family member? Cause how do you know if it was someone from Vigo? If you don't have any enemies. Okay. Um, Vaughn? Um, my dad has sent me screenshots of multiple DMs from multiple people. And in mo and most of them paragraphs, it did include that I was a host on Bego acting like a faggot. And that was included, which is why I know it was from people from this app. And it was literally, it had to be more than four or five people in his DMs. So it's definitely nobody that I know personally. It definitely has to be Bego Trolls. And yeah, they found my dad's Instagram and that's where it went off of. So it's just like, there's no, I don't got no enemies IRL. It's literally no other fucking way. You know what I'm saying? I had to be bitches from Bego. I would say this, Vaughn. Um, I hate that you're going through that with Thank your you. father, whatever it may be. But at the end of the day, um, if your father really cared about you and really wanted to, you know, be have a relationship with you, Bigo can come between that. And there's no shade. Mm. So mm. I just think just focus on yourself <laughs> and love yourself and worry about yourself. Because, you know, Bigo, yes, it's toxic, whatever the case may be, but it can't fuck up a relationship between you and your, your parents. That's all um, I Well, I would like to say <laughs> me and my dad never had a stable good right. relationship. They We're never just on the verge of rekindling so our like relationship for a reason. So, he was looking for a reason, and he found his reason. But go ahead. Oh, that's fair. Um, um, day. Um, just because he's found his reason doesn't make it okay. I feel like you and Bo just simply just said, "Okay, it is what it is." We need to not normalize that type of stuff. Yes, it was fun back in 2018 and 2019, 2020. We was on here, we all keen and laughed at it. But bitch, we all getting older and older each and every motherfucking day. And that's sad that we can't get on a platform and show our personalities and make people laugh and just enjoy ourselves without somebody simply just being weird and texting stuff and just thinking, "Ah, it's, it only be a key at that moment." So if it was to happen right now, y'all. I'll be like, oh, they, they ate the fuck out of that. But then people have consequences afterwards. And the consequence was the relationship between him and his father. You know, the relationship wasn't stable, like he said already, but that just doesn't make it okay just because it wasn't stable. You know what I'm saying? So the bitches should say that his motherfucking okay. daddy DMs and that it's not right. Period. It's weird. Y'all get people kicked out of motherfucking work. Y'all got Chad kicked out of school. This boy. Daddy found the finally a reason not to talk to his gay son. Bitch, bitches get fired. Y'all get bitches bad. It just be too much at motherfucking time. Like I said, back in 2019, 2020, when we all first was getting to know each other and doing this, yes, it was fun. It was good, but we all get older, bitch. We've been on here for No, it, my that. thing is, it was never fun. It should have never got started. And me, um, that's kind of, kind of crazy coming from you because you were the ones who did that. That's not on my resume. My yeah. resume, I don't give a fuck about what, who got going on out of here. I was, it, it always was just big up for me. So that don't try to say that a bow making it okay because I didn't have nothing to do with that shit. No, but don't say my motherfucking her. name. No, you shouldn't have said nobody motherfucking okay. name. It's fucked up. You should be. Yeah, yeah, it's fucked up. I was done. I was done. You are one of the founding fathers. Don't say my motherfucking name. I would never gave that. I'm not done. Okay. I wasn't done. Okay, okay. Mute them. Mute that fucking potato wedge. And once again, this the problem. You bitches ready, motherfucker, try to prove me wrong. Same thing was that you is right. Y'all ready? I, I never had that. How about y'all stand for something? You're like, no shade, bitch. Let's all stop that. It was never cute. But boy, you supposed to was never cute. But yet, you still besties with the bitch that even started to burn the shit over here. Girl. Tell them something. It was never fun. I ain't know. Okay, boy, you did mind your business. You did never indulge in those type of things in those situations. But I feel like 
we shouldn't get into it here. We should all just like, you know, be like, okay, that's fucked up. Let's try to like spread the positivity of not doing that and making that a habit again or making that a thing. You know what I'm saying? It's old news. We was all young. We, it's called learning both too. Bitch, I grew. Don't try to motherfucking throw my old dirt in my face, act like I can't motherfucking grow. So Prince alleges that Smiles picked up his phone and called him and told him that he was upset and him and me broke up because Prince, I mean, because Smiles gave Meek HIV. Now, I don't believe it. I don't believe that he will call motherfucking Prince out of all people. I don't, he's not even close to Prince to pick up the phone and say some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't remember. I don't I don't believe that him and Prince's relationship after Prince already got on the app and tried to embarrass him, that he would call Prince's phone and tell him some motherfucking stupid shit like that. I just don't believe it. I think Prince is a, is lying. I don't mm -hmm. necessarily know if Prince is a liar, but I think Prince is lying about this. I do not believe it at all. Now, like I said, until a bitch come forth with the documentation needed to clear mm -hmm. me, bitch. I'm uncleared, okay? Mm -hmm. Nobody mm -hmm. has come through. N Meek has not come through. Who goes and creates a fake documentation, bitch? Who goes through the strenuous strains of showing everything but your name? Mm -hmm. Girl, bye. I'm not trying to hear this from neither one of them. And Smiles not to clear me if he wants to, but he can't. Mm. It's a defamation of character lawsuit. Mm. Or something. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. I said what I said. But, um, like I so said, I, I just want to let y'all know, you, you know, sue, can't sue somebody if it's true. So that's why I'm kind of like nervous. It's like, girl, why ain't he sued you? Why ain't he popped you? Why ain't he went and said nothing? Because like, you know, like when Cardi B got accused of having herpes, she went and showed that she did not have herpes. And so bitch, mm -hmm. she was able to sue Tasha K. If you are saying stuff that's false, Smiles to be on your ass, bitch. No shame, mm -hmm. because you were his lover for five years. But, so, Milan, why don't you go ahead and prove us wrong, Boop? I, I, think I you don't gotta go prove ahead. you wrong, bitch. I ain't gotta prove a fuck-ass thing wrong, <laughs> bitch. What you need to do is prove us motherfucking wrong with them motherfucking pills you said you got. Has That's anybody what? seen Smiles' pills? Well, what the motherfucking loco? Somebody he also lied on. You know, Prince has been on here saying a lot of stuff about you, loco. Is it... Is it is it in any of it true? Are you like what's going on? No, he's a compulsive liar. Just like you said, his grandma gave it to him. He got it from a dude in Columbus. He was fucking with when he was sixteen, named Lamar. It was uh, Nico X Mizza, his roommate. He would pick him up from school. He would crash him, and that's how he. Wait, what, wait, wait, whoa, 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 wait, wait. How do you know where he got it from? How did you, how, do you know Lamar? So I didn't know Lamar, but I did know. So I didn't know Lamar, but I knew Nico. So when I was messing around, oh no, when, when he was when we was dating, he he had told me that he had got it in Columbus when he was sixteen. He told me it was from an older dude. So me, you can ask Timothy. Timothy now, uh, Maniac now, Maniac now. Uh, when he was going out there getting smashed by Lamar, he know for a fact. So no, was it the grandma? He, he never, he had never told me. When I had heard that, I'm like, where did he get that from? He got that when he was sixteen. He got it from fucking with an older dude. The dude was like thirty years old. He would pick him up from school what? and everything. Mind his mom. Now hold, now, hold on, Loco. Now hold on. Now hold on. Hold on. I'm you not lying. Not, you just, you will just not. About you will not <laughs> try to motherfucking take my motherfucking tease and claim on bitch. I, mm. I, <laughs> I okay. So, I maybe I, did you know? So, both of you, I know you're from Indianapolis, but I thought Prince was from Ohio. So, how do y'all know this? Stuff about him being sixteen. Well, I, knew, and... I knew I knew Prince before local knew Prince. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. But and I then, I I ain't doing this. But don't quit trying to act like you 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 got like you just you I didn't say I like made the tea. story. I said hey Rennie. I said I knew Nico was his roommate. I didn't say I made the tea up or where I got it from. All right. Yeah. Let me get down. So Loco, so Lamar, who is Lamar? Lamar is I don't really know who Lamar I never met him. I just knew he was older. I know his I know Prince's mom put him out because he was fucking with the 16 uh the, when he was 16. So he had put him out over the his mom had put him out over the situation. That's all I know about it. And so why was why was you why do you feel like Prince was so surprised when you proved to him that you were, you know, negative when he told you that he was positive? Did you say that? 
so I was dating a person that was uh, positive, but they was undetectable. So we was off and on in a relationship for seven years. So with us being friends, I had confided that uh, to him. So until we went on our trip to Orlando and I got tested. Can you tell us the name of the person that you were dating? No, I can't. I can't do that. They're a private person and I don't want to do them like that. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean I. You said that the person was also dating Prince or? No, they was the, I was dating the person I've known for seven years. Oh, so because you were dating. So how did Prince know that that person was positive? I had, me and him was friends. Me and Prince was friends and I had confided um, that information to him. Okay, mm. so he, okay, go ahead. Okay, finish the story. I'm, I see where it is going. So long story short, we ended up going to Florida. I ended up getting tested in this place called uh, the Parliament in Orlando. I had a card that said I was negative. He gagged, and that's when he told me he was positive. To the point where we was on the way back, he had given me an ultimatum that we could like be together or something like that if I left the dude I was with. So I moved the dude out that I was dating, and I moved Prince in. Oh, you broke up with the nigga you was dating off and on for seven years to date Prince. Yes. And how long was you and Prince together? Like seven or eight months. Mm. And was when you guys were together, did he lie to you a lot or yeah, he would act like he didn't really talk to nobody. He would be like having like five messages in his phone, but he would delete them because I was working. He he wouldn't be working full time. So by the time I got off of work, he would actually would clean the whole house and all that. And act like he wasn't doing nothing the whole day. But he's been a compulsive liar. So you were going to work. Prince was just taking your coins and saving up your no, coins. He was not, no, he was not taking the coins. I was paying the bills and we was both escorted. He was not making the money to be taking no coins. It wasn't. A, it wasn't all these coins for him to be taking. Are you also upset? Because it sounds like maybe you may be a little bit upset as well. Because I got mad. Uh, because he had got on here after I had put the tea out that he had touched. Because he had told me that he had touched his siblings, or whatever. Because he was molested, and it was like a whole molestation thing. Wait, what? They, so when we was dating. So, okay, how the commercial and everything happened is because he felt like we was going to get married. So that's why the commercial even happened. He felt okay. like the people together, he felt comfortable coming out positive. He thought that he was like the cutest boy that had it. So that's why he felt comfortable doing it. That's how the tattoos okay. and all that stuff happened. So once all that happened, he uh, he, had confided, he, had, he had confided with me that he had touched him or whatever. To the point where... Touched who? Touched who? You said his brother? Brother and sisters. It's like five, seven. He touched like five, his, five, wait, 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 the grand, wait, wait, wait. He told you he touched him or the grandma touched him. There, no, I've never heard nothing about the grandma talk out on here. I feel like he switched to the grandma because he felt like that wouldn't, be, that wouldn't have been a bad person to get it from for the HIV, but that's not where he got it from. A, we know now that the grandma is not the culprit. It's some guy named Lamar, allegedly. Um, and we also are being told that Prince is basically a, a pedophile or a rapist, because I don't know if he was young when he touched his, his brothers and sisters. How Did he tell you his age when he was? No, he didn't, he didn't tell me the age. He didn't tell me the age. OK, so but why would he tell you? Yeah, babe, I used to touch on my nieces, my sister and my brother. Why would he tell because you? Something we like were like we were so close, like he would tell me everything about him. Like we were just like we were just so close, like we had already been friends for a long time. Just like with the tattoos and everything, it looked like we was gonna be together forever. So he was just telling yeah. me all this stuff. So that's what it was. It's like, it's like, hold on, line. It's like Prince was basically confided in him, and he felt like he can trust him. So let me tell my man everything. It's kind of like you know how I love deathbed confessions. If you guys ever want to see some deathbed confessions, go on YouTube. Before the people die, they admit stuff on the deathbed. So not saying what Prince probably felt like he was on his deathbed because he had already got it from Lamar. So he said, let me just tell my nigga everything. And since he already told me, y'all know, telling somebody that you have HIV can be the biggest thing, like the biggest uh, accomplishment to you. So Prince probably felt like, okay, since I already told him I got it from Lamar and I got this, I might as well tell him the rest of the tease because this is the man I'm going to be with for the rest of my motherfucking life. It ain't no hunt to it. He felt comfortable enough to tell him. So they probably, they probably was having a conversation. They probably was leaking secrets. L Loco probably told Prince some some damn and shit and Prince rebuttal with some damn and shit and now they feel like we'll be damn together. I need mean, 5K. Mm. Go even trying to chase bullshit, bitch. If I was all these things, why you been on my dick chasing me all these years still? Mm.
Even well, after I didn't want you, you, even after I moved on. Three, like, Why have you been on my dick so hard still to this day? Time, just today, day. just on my birthday, you was pleading how much you love me and how you'll fight the niggas for me and all of this stuff. And I told you I didn't want to deal with you because you're off drugs and alcohol and I've given you too many chances and you agreed. So if I was all of these things, why are you on my dick so heavy? Milan, we back on the heat list. Um, why have you been riding out. my coattail nonstop? Why did you, even after I stopped fucking with you, you turned around and tried to make me, you came back to my agency, bitch, you claimed that I was fucking yeah, you, you and your ass, ass. You, had, you continued to have threesomes with I'm me. If I'm I was all of these talk. things that you're trying to make up, see, Loco, you always felt like I was going to tell your tea. With your brother, with mm -hmm. your drunk ass, I never, bitch. Ever did with and, I, and you wait, no, because wait, this, no, listen, 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 listen. No, Milan, Milan. This is exactly okay. what he did. This is exactly what he did when I broke up with him the way. first time. It's no shade. It's no shade. I always just been nice to you because I know you don't have nobody that care about your drunk ass. It's no shade. That's why you were nice to me. I knew all you. And then. You talking about I got I got it from you talking about I got it from Lamar. Well, let's call Nico up. Let's call let's call Lamar up because everybody know Lamar negative. Everybody yeah. always know Lamar being negative. You're yeah. talking about a man that's literally been that was a role model in my life when I was a young adult, bitch. What are you talking about? If I was all of these things, why 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 are you so in love with me then? So he was screwing. Why are you so he hurt? Was... If I was all of these things, if you got to go in here and shalay me like this. Girl, bye. Ain't nobody studying you, loco. I don't want you. I used you. And I'm going to tell you to your face. I used you, bitch. Well, you you, you want some motherfucking way. closure? I used you. Me and me using you, you, you had some benefit from it, bitch. Because you stopped drinking. You became a better person for five seconds. I, I showed you your real drinking, fucking boy. potential, even though I didn't want you. You said I'm all of these things, but I never even kissed you. I never wanted to kiss your big, nasty... Uh, uh, goofball lit looking ass, bitch. You are disgusting. You barely brush your teeth, bitch. I did not want to do nothing with you, you bitch. I was jacking off in the shower and edging. That's why I was taking them hour and a half showers, bitch. You know I didn't want to touch you. Saying all of these things, girl, bye. So, girl, bye. Okay. All right, I, I got a quick question. Then I'm girl, bye. You're a fool. You're mad. I never right. wanted you, and so I, you I came out. No, 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 I'm not That's done because he said a lot of things, Milan. No, I'm not done. He said a lot of things, Milan. So how did you get a tattoo? Bitch, with all that? you're mad that so I don't want that, you, bitch, boy. and you're mad that I'm living better than you, more money than you. Milan, I, I, I excel beyond you, ugly. You still That's what you mad that we came from the shit. same motherfucking slate and you can't fuck with me. You, you drowned. You became a motherfucking cokehead, a motherfucking meth head, and you, you still a fucking thing. prostitute. Yeah. You are still a worthless ass bitch. You are only no, fans, check to check, living ass bitch. That's what you really mad about. Pick your heart up, bitch. Pick your heart up. Pick your heart up. You've, You've never been act. nothing but a motherfucking back page escort, bitch. You Pick your heart like up. Me. And you damn right. You damn right. I came from Miami and I motherfucking did what the fuck I had to do, bitch. What the fuck I look like stand with you and your nigga. Bitch, I never wanted you. I didn't even kiss you the first four months of our relationship. And then I finally right. started giving you a pet. And then I you never, know. ever French kissed you. Well, you were sitting here on this app. What the no fuck reason. are you the talking about? And don't topic. make me release the tea. I'll tell you every nigga that well, I really no, was talking to while we was together the whole time while you was at why work, would, bitch. Why, why would I care, I'll tell boy. you the life that I was really motherfucking thing. living. You bitch, why you think it was so easy for me to get on, bitch? Why you think it was so easy for me to pick up a house the you next day, bitch? You mean I've seen this a whole life. When you decided to start drinking, that was my exit, bitch. Mm. I was done. I was not the ex, I was wow. the whole time we were dating. Dumbass. And look at you. You still look dumb. Time. I'm still what doing better than you. Friend, and you still look a fool. He said you touched your sibling. So, Prince, there is one allegation that I just really want to hear from you. Um, you told him that you had you messed you molested your Little brother and your sister, not just your little brother. That is something that's well, local said. He, local said that he that's said what local it said. That. I did not make that up. He just said that. Girl, this bitch been twisting motherfucking stories from the start, trying to get a fucking reaction, thinking she's slaying me, bitch. I'm the one with a, an amazing relationship with my family. You're the one that come from two fucking current drunks. Your father is a 30 year old fuck, a 30 year old drunk, bitch. You followed in his footsteps. Your mother is still a fucking drunk, bitch.
What the fuck are you talking about? Stop fucking trying to play on my name, bitch. He said his father was a 30-year-old drunk. He didn't say at the time. He said when he told him at the time that would be Milan, come on now. And Loco, Prince, okay, wait, Prince, real quick, because I you don't really you the one music. that killed somebody drunk driving, bitch. Oh what? That's why you can't get no motherfucking license. That's why you a, a motherfucking career prostitute, bitch. Nothing ass whore. Stop fucking playing on my name, bitch. I have my all my siblings come on here and clear you, bitch. And I never you was going to tell your fucking T, you scary, insecure, low life, in the gutter ass, no self-esteem ass, bitch. You dumb body built, bitch. Upside yeah. down built, bitch. Fuck wrong I'm with you. Murderer. Bitch, you better be happy I even gave your dumb ass a chance. You better be happy I ever gave you a chance, you nothing ass bitch. And that's why you pathetic and you still sobbing over me. Still trying to figure out, well, guess what? Figured out I never wanted you, bitch. You've never equated to nothing. You've never been that girl, bitch. I used you and played dumb until I didn't need you anymore, bitch. I need I Loco. Me... I need Loco. Because you Loco. also said that Loco messed around with his brother. You said that, Prince. So I have a Georgia State uh, license. I have an Atlanta license, not a Georgia license. I can show it on here. It's in the locker room, um, which he didn't know because I never told his goofy ass. Second of all, if I was a murderer, you will be to look that up. I would still be in jail. I've never killed anybody. Come on now. My name is Devin Gladden. You can look up my case. He sound crazy as hell. He didn't do nothing but just scream and yell and make lies. That's all he did. Nothing he did. Nothing he said. Like he didn't even break out. Nothing he says is current. He gets mad. He deflects. Deflects. This is what he's been doing his whole life. Being an opportunist. Mm -hmm. There's no reason. There's no reason for me to go back and forth. So you life. never killed anybody drunk and driving. No, you can look at my record right now. Devin Gladney. Wait, you no, you want to say that for nothing. What happened? He, ma he made that up. Come on now. Y'all sound crazy. I would no, be I'm in saying jail. if you didn't kill him, what I've happened? I've never like been. He just is enraged saying that. He's literally just talking crazy. Murder. Everybody in ballroom would have been labeled me as that. Come on now. He also said that you now, you know, you've been messing around. Not messing no, around, but messing. I've never been around. on meth. That was, Ray made that allegation and he ran with that. I've done coke before several times. I've never done math. Next question. Okay, so real quick before we unmute Prince, they both are saying some fucking nasty ass allegations right now. And this is why I be saying this app becomes a hinge. Prince said he murdered someone. And I mean yes. dead. You know what I'm saying? You just said that Prince said that Loco was also touching my and he did math. And he was a drunk. You know what oh, I'm yeah. saying? And he, did, you touch, did you touch your little brother? Because Prince also said no. you touched Oh, no. and was trying to touch his motherfucking brother because his brother was waking up hard and he thought that meant that his brother wanted him to touch him bitch what? no listen uh -huh. he honestly touched his little brother though because he was yeah. also yes. claiming he was yes that is true yeah, so he was sleeping in the bed with his brother, his brother I wouldn't lie on that Y'all see me, y'all. Okay. y'all see me hang out with my niece and everything I have an amazing relationship with my family bitch she is a he fucking said, liar he said your blind brother, not your niece. Girl, bye. Girl, bye. Mm -hmm. Before I go. I didn't want to deal with you because when we know Milan ready to put anything in that greedy hole that's big that's what be making you so unattractive no shade Milan I'm about to get into it for real for real I'm about, I don't read like the rest of these bitches that's what really make your dumb ass your dumb ugly bald headed ass your moon head pie ass bitch look be so unattractive you're not really fun and you always horny as fuck who the fuck cleans out before they go out to every fucking event? Who douches? Just in case they get fucked while they out. Every day. How is your insides even in the place to generate the right 
motherfucking juices, bitch. You fucking toilet bowl. And then we're not going to get on that stink ass breath, bitch. Milan. You don't even be hitting a fucking blunt that much. You be hitting a blunt like two times and your breath be stinking. And your teeth is stank as fuck. You be motherfucking live and the motherfucking teeth stain be all over your teeth like you got on. Motherfuck like you got coke on your lips or something. Turn that fucking teeth filter down, bitch, so we can see how fucking brown your fucking teeth is, bitch. Nasty yuck mouth ass, bitch. You throat gobbling ass, bitch. You only take you two minutes to dish ass, bitch. Keep the motherfucking dish bottle stored in your tuck ass, bitch. Right under your foreskin ass, bitch. I can't believe Milan got the fucking nerve to be playing in my fucking face. Don't ever play in my fucking face, Milan, because best believe I can do the same thing, bitch. I can do the same thing. Leave me the fuck alone, Mr. Gordy, bitch. Because we can be there. We can go there, bitch. You know I don't mind. And I feel like you've been waiting on this for a long-ass motherfucking time, bitch. No shade. And I will clear you. So if you want to if you want to start who can clear who, let me know, bitch. The fuck? When we know Milan... Ready to put anything in that greedy hole that's big. He was just jealous um, that me and Vinny had linked up after um, basically she was like following him. I never even knew like who he was or anything like that for real, for real, um, until he came at me and tried to pursue me. So that was along the times when we had just broke up. And so I had drove back to Columbus, took my brother and my sister, or my brother and my niece back to Columbus that was visiting. And then um, I had moved, I moved in with John Boy for like a couple of days and then I had got my own place or whatever. And during that time, he was still upset, bitch, that I had put his bitch ass in jail and that I had motherfucking chaleted his motherfucking mama. You cussed his mama out? really mad about, bitch. I should. I shallayed his motherfucking mama badly. Gagged her ass like never before, bitch. And I know she's still gagging to this right. day that I gagged her ass like that. She was talking all that shit and she sent her motherfucking fake ass boyfriend out there to insert herself in some shit that didn't have nothing to do with him. And I told him about all the shit that she be, how she really feel about him. And all the shit she be talking to her son about that ain't none of her son's motherfucking business. And that nigga was so motherfucking hurt. He started crying. He got in that car crying, sped off. He almost killed himself, bitch, by the time he got to the end of the block. I should laid him so fast in a matter of 45 seconds. Mind your business and stay out of mind. But her son is her business. So. And she, she don't want what's best. Okay. I'm talking about okay. the boyfriend. Okay. I'm talking about the boyfriend. That tried to step into it and you know get into okay. the whole thing of the thing that I almost killed so that's what I'm talking about. <clears throat> so yeah, I should lay the mama. She was mad. She ended up having to pay a thousand dollars out of her savings to get him out of jail. Or whatever. Um what else happened? He ended up stealing money from me and um from the when we were, you know, splitting up or whatever. That was another one of the reasons why we had ended up getting into it because he was doing all this thing. Like he took the money. He felt like just doing all this extra stuff or whatever. Um, luckily I had, it was just money that we had at the, the house stashed up from just like different stuff. So we, you know, other little shit. <clears throat> yeah. That we had made together or whatever. But luckily anyways, when he was at work, I had already, uh, I never used to tell him my business anyways about like, other clients that I had, you know, sugar daddies and stuff, ongoing, ongoing stuff that I had. I never used to tell him about it because we was cool, but I just knew not to trust him like that. No shade. So when it was time to go, Thank like you, what happened, I was able to get the fuck up out of there if I needed to. So, yeah, he thought he was turning on me. The whole time um, you was turning he ended it. up having to use that same money 
Yeah, the whole, the whole, or uh, no, he ended up having to use that money to get up out of jail and fix whatever he had, get the lawyer and all of that shit to, you know, because I had press charges on him after he tried to lie and say that I put my hands on him. But when we went to the window, you could tell that the frame of the window was being pushed from the inside out. And once the police see that, that was which one of y'all had to climb back through the window? I did because he had tried to lock me out. Trying to be funny once I when I was taking stuff out to the U-Haul, he was trying to be funny and he tried to lock me out and leave my siblings inside the house. And they was on some like weird shit trying to get children's service called and all of this other weird shit. I'm like, girl, what? <laughs> so by the time I had got in there, I didn't even touch him or anything like that. His mom had already called the police. He was just gagging that I had enough power to put, you know, get through the window or whatever. And then they just took okay, his fucking ass to jail. Ask. So then by that time, I had already packed all my shit. What, I had what did they take all my shit? And this is where you try to say, oh, no, 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 no. I had put shit you patties did, bitch, all you over the You put shit floor. patties all over the house. He, he, he spoke about that too. He did. It was, bitch, you put dog shit all over the walls. He said that you had the dog shitting and pissing on his clothes. Maniac. What? So I had put his clothes, um, all of the clothes that was hung up, I had just put them on the floor and I had like just took my, my co hangers because that's where his clothes was before I met him. No shade. I put everything back where the fuck it was when the fuck I met him. And that's the, that's, he just felt that shit. That's all it was. No shade. So when I left, I left the dogs out. Yes, on purpose. The day before, bitch, you was trying to kick me and my niece out in the middle of the motherfucking night. And thankfully that I had a motherfucking notarized lease, you wasn't able to get away with that motherfucking vindictive shit. So yes, I left your shit on the floor and I left the motherfucking dogs out. And if they shit it all over the place or shit got on the motherfucking walls or whatever happened when I was out of there, I don't give a fuck. So, um, have local apologized today? Do you think that you guys could get back, like, at least being cordial? So, like, you totally done. We never could get back being cordial. We never could get back being cordial because she has a fucking boy problem. And it's not even just with me. She just be having this weird ass fucking boy problem and alcohol problem and drug problem. She got all of these weird problems that can work. And at first it'd be cool. You know what I mean? Because everybody can come with their own shit, but don't nobody got time for that. No shit. Like I said, I needed to, that, that shit before it was understood. I was mixing toxic, toxic with toxic, but I'm not in no toxic shit anymore. I'm not in no situation or no bullshit like that anymore for me to be playing on motherfucking so, games like that. So he said that bitch. He said that he felt like nah, that you was his karma for doing for him doing Jamir wrong and that everything that you get from smiles you are deserving of because smiles is your karma for you doing him wrong. I didn't get anything from smiles. Smiles still want to be with me just like him. Smiles don't like him. Can you show us the other piece to the puzzle? And smiles don't care about that bitch. Can you show us your ma y'all matching tattoos? <laughs> Why? Because I don't feel like it. <laughs>